we are here at Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium Science Center in Bengaluru and uh, we are accompanied by senior scientist uh, Anand, Dr. Anand, uh, who will explain us the whole uh, process of the Chandrayaan uh, 3 mission. Sir, thank you for joining us. Could you please explain our viewers uh, right from the scratch, from launch to the uh, soft touching that is going to take place tomorrow? Chandrayaan 3, as you know, on July 14th, it was uh, lifted off uh, by GSLV launch vehicle and it took around the orbit of the earth. It did not directly went to the moon because the, uh, the fuel that is required to take the, any satellite to moon will be huge and also the expense will be multiple. So in order to reduce the uh, cost of the uh, mission so, and also non-availability of the uh, very strong rocket right, which can directly take the uh, satellite to the moon. So it was thought of taking uh, satellites many times around the uh, earth and using the gravitation, earth gravitation, uh, the satellites uh, increases its velocity and reaches the lunar orbit. So after it, uh, it gets captured by the lunar, uh, by the moon, right, it goes around uh, in many, uh, many uh, orbits and it slows down itself and uh, it has reached about the, the closest orbit uh, that is about uh, 25 kilometer in altitude. So once it has reached it, its final orbit around the moon of 25 kilometers, 25 kilometers, it will stabilize itself. So once it gets stabilized, then the major mission of soft landing will take place. The soft landing is very much required because to ensure that all the components of the lander is working and is capable of doing the further scientific uh, activities. Also, sir, we can see a miniature model of moon yeah. there. Can you please uh, explain us where the uh, rover will land and uh, what next? So uh, the lander will be, is expected to land in the southern region of the moon where we have uh, a, a crater called uh, Minizinus. Mezinus, right? So near this crater, the it is planned to land the lander. Uh, if everything goes well, and we expect that uh, lander will be landing in the south, south pole uh, safely. And uh, the last stage of landing the lander is actually very crucial. It has to reduce its velocity from few thousand kilometers to uh, zero, and Achieving this is a very, very difficult, technically very difficult task and it has to uh, reduce its velocity, it has to choose the location where it is going to land and choose a, a safe region where actually it can land. So that is a very, very crucial part. And also, sir, uh, recently we also witnessed uh, Russia's Luna 25 crash as well. So, keeping that aspect in mind, how uh, as how optimistic India is regarding the uh, landing of uh, Chandrayaan 3? Uh, as the as you saw, it was a very technically challenging task to put anything around a orbit of a an uh, celestial object. So, uh, Russia failed to insert the uh, insert its lander. Right, into the uh, safer orbit around the moon. So looking at this technical difficulties and the technical difficulties that it can, that it involves in soft landing the, this one, it is, it is a, a very, very uh, difficult uh, capability, expertise that you need to do this. So this is a major, uh, major uh, technical uh, uh, opportunity or the technical uh, challenge that we are looking for, right, to achieve in this uh, mission. And uh, what will this historic accomplishment mean to India as well as ISRO, sir? Uh, technically, it is a, a milestone in achieving the soft landing. So once, if you are capable of soft landing a vehicle or a, uh, or a mission on the moon, it means that you can take humans or you can take any equipments safely to the moon and do whatever the scientific analysis that you can do and bring them back. So this kind of achievement or capability building 
right, is very, very much, very much necessary in coming years. So, if it happens, then India will be a fourth nation to have that capability. So, that is one of the uh, very, very uh, needful thing in this space era. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, so, that's senior scientist Dr. Anand for you explaining the whole Chandrayaan 3 mission.